No. At all? No. So you don't even have a bus pass? No. So you went what, in, in car to school? Yes. You went into car? Yes. To school? Yes. You didn't take the bus? No. Oh, you think you're better than me, man? So you're taking a car to what? school instead of a bus? No, I didn't say that. I was just tired. I woke you up were late. Just tired and you woke up late? And I, I didn't think I was going to like you. you. There's people like you that prefer a car <laughs> than a bus. Let me tell you something, man. The car's not all what it seems to be. That's right. The car? Might have air conditioning, central just to you, but the bus has much more important things. So much important things you cannot put in a car, right? The bus would always be there for you, man. When you miss a bus, you just have to wait another hour, and the next one will be there for you. It will be there. It will be there. And if you're not there, when the bus passes, you better run and catch that bus. That bus is important to your life. It gives you hope. Hope of getting to a place without having to walk. Hope of a new opportunity of... of, of Dreams beyond imagination. A car? You have to drive. A bus? You can relax. You can close your eyes. A car? You have to put gas. A bus? You can throw gas. Pass that gas. To other people in that bus smell that. The bus has weird people in it. The car, you're alone. You will not find a homeless person in your car. Unless they broke into your car. But then you have to put maintenance in repairing the car and find a place for that homeless person. And a bus, he's just chilling. Minding his own business. The bus equals opportunity. Opportunity equals success. Success equals happiness. So in the long run, the bus equals happiness. When you take the bus, you're happy. When you're in a car, you're sad. Yeah, you can listen to music in the car. But in the bus you find dead bugs in, in, on the floor. And, 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 and you find really uncomfortable positions where you have to find comfortable positions to sit in that bus. In a car you just move it to the position you want. In a bus you are training yourself for discomfort. Later stages of your life. On a car. You have to worry about if the car leaves you. In the middle of the street. Stranded. On a bus. It might get stranded. But another bus. Will come and pick you up. Like in an hour. Or so. Anyway. In a car. You have to be. Worried about when you're going to get into an accident. The bus. That's a bus driver's problem, not mine. I mean, if he has an accident, that's not my problem. In a bus, you have stops. In a car, you need a stop. So, don't stop to think twice next time, okay? Next time you wake up early, you make your day important from the beginning. By taking the bus, not the car. Because the bus will take you places, while the car <laughs> the 
car and take you places too. But not necessarily the places you don't want to be. That's right, the bus has limited stops. If you want to get off in a point that the bus stop is not in, you have to stop in the nearest point of where your original point is, get off on that stop, and walk to your place. In a car, you can just drive to that place. What's the fun in that? Huh? There's no fun in that. So next time you take the bus, it's the last time I say it because I'm tired of it. People that are ignorant like you take a car that you have to pay insurance for and gasoline for and wash. There's no four in that. But you have to wash that car. In a bus, it's just nasty on the outside and on the inside and any other part of the bus. It's just gross. But you are fresh. You make that bus what it is. If there's no you, there's no bus. And if there's no bus, then there's just cars. And cars do not like you. So you should only like cars when they are necessary. Take the bus. I'm done.